Are you someone that suffers from chronic fatigue? Or maybe you're on the opposite end of the spectrum and you're someone who's a high performance athlete or a weekend warrior that really pushes it hard. If that's the case, IV ozone might be a treatment option for you. Hang around after this intro and I'll go over three ways that IV ozone can benefit you, whether you're a sufferer of chronic fatigue or you're someone who's high performance and needs a boost. Hey guys, Dr. Scott Nall here from TheVillageOsteopath.com. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please ring that bell so you'll get new updates every time they come out on health and wellness. So today what we're going to talk about is IV ozone therapy and how it might benefit you and why you might need it. When I first heard about IV ozone, I was a little bit freaked out to be quite honest because I was imagining someone standing there with a big syringe full of air and pushing it into someone's vein. And to me, as a doctor, that really got, got me a little scared because I'm thinking, oh wow, you could call an, cause an air embolism or something and have the person get a stroke or uh, all sorts of bad things that could happen. When I actually went to a course that was teaching IV ozone therapy, I found out that actually is not the case. The way it's actually done is blood is drawn out and put in a bag, sort of like you would do if um, you were giving blood, for instance, and then ozone is bubbled through that and then transfused back in. And we'll go over why that's important here in a minute. So let's go over real quick top three reasons why ozone therapy is very important, whether you have chronic fatigue or if you're someone whose high performance needs a boost. Okay, so number one. So the number one reason that IV ozone works so well is it increases blood oxygenation. And you're probably thinking, well, how does it do that? It's actually the most easy way to conceptualize this. So it, uh, the blood itself has a red cell in there, and in that red cell there's something called hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is what uh, binds oxygen from our lungs and then transports it all around the body to feed our cells and give our cells energy. So what o IV ozone therapy does is when we draw the blood out of the body and put it in that bag and then we bubble ozone through it. If you remember back from chemistry class in high school, oxygen is O2, ozone is O3. So there's an extra oxygen molecule in ozone. And so when the ozone is bubbled through the blood there, all that oxygen is then going to get taken up by the hemoglobin molecule and it will hypersaturate the blood with oxygen. You can actually even watch it change color in the bag. It goes from being dark to kind of a brighter red as the oxygen is taken up. And then that, that uh, hyperoxygenated blood is transfused back in and then it supplies the body with a lot more oxygen in order to give the person more endurance, more energy, and uh, be able to have better performance. So right away you can see how this could help someone that had chronic fatigue or also someone who let's say was going to be doing a triathlon and need to get a little extra boost. This is very similar to what uh, Lance Armstrong was doing. The same thing happens to our blood if we just were to leave it sitting in a bag for long periods of time. Hemoglobin will eventually pull in oxygen from the from just the air around it. And so what Lance Armstrong was doing is he was actually putting blood in a bag, keep it in the hotel room, and then he would go and transfuse his own blood back in later after it had been sitting out exposed to air in order to give him more energy and more endurance over his races. Well, that was illegal for him to do that because uh, you know he's a pro, uh, pro athlete. For the rest of us out there, uh, this is not something that most people care about because we're not getting paid for our performance. Um, so if you're an amateur athlete or if you're just someone who just suffers from chronic fatigue, this is definitely a legit way to overcome that in certain circumstances. The second reason you might need ozone therapy is because ozone therapy increases nitric oxide in the body. So we talked about before how the ozone gets bubbled through the blood. Well, not all of it gets bound up um, into the hemoglobin molecule. There's actually a little bit of ozone that's left over and it sets in the interstitial areas or areas in between the cells and gets transfused in when we transfuse it back. When that hits the bloodstream and starts to circulate, it causes the body to release nitric, nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is very important because it causes our blood vessels to dilate. Uh, in other words, they get bigger, which increases blood flow. Uh, back in the early, or back in the 1800s, uh, the founder of osteopathic medicine, Dr. A.T. Still, made the statement that the rule of the artery is supreme. In other words, that all disease uh, can be made better or improved or even eliminated by fixing blood flow issues. And if you look at most disease states out there, most of them have to do with lack of blood flow. So think about it. 
coronary artery disease, strokes. Some people even think possibly problems with our tendons and ligaments. Maybe even osteoarthritis has to do with lack of blood flow going into the joint and being able to disrupt an abnormal buildup breakdown cycle into the joint. Uh, even something um, as we don't even think about like appendicitis for instance. As the appendix starts to swell, uh, as it gets inflamed, blood flow is choked off from it and then you start to hurt. So the appendix needs to be taken out. So resolving blood flow issues can be very important and nitric oxide does that. It causes the blood vessels to expand, which then allows more blood flow to get in, bringing more oxygen, more nutrients, and allowing um, the cells to heal. So if you're someone who is a high performance athlete or someone who maybe not even high performance, maybe you're just trying to struggle through the triathlon or a half marathon over the weekend, getting an IV ozone treatment before the, before the race or before the event can be very beneficial. Or if you're someone who suffers from chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and you're trying to help oxygenate your tissues, IV ozone can be very therapeutic in that, in that regard. Okay, and finally, number three, and that has to do with ozone's ability to kill pathogens. And what I mean by pathogens, we're talking about viruses, we're talking about bacteria, and we're talking about fungi. Um, it's actually been studied to look at what exactly ozone does to these species. And so when, it's, um, when ozone is transfused back in, if you know what ozone does, it's actually a pro-oxidant. So it's not an antioxidant, it's a pro-oxidant. But when you're putting that pro-oxidant in in a small concentration of the bloodstream, the body will grab onto it real quickly and then produce a ton of antioxidants. And there's actually some hydrogen peroxide that's produced in the bloodstream as the ozone is getting transfused in, which has big time uh, health effects as far as trying to kill out bacteria or viruses or other things that could be circulating in your blood at the time if you're sick. So if you're someone who has chronic fatigue or someone who has been sick for an extended period of time and you're worried about maybe some kind of a chronic viral infection, this will be very beneficial because the ozone is going to help your body combat uh, these pathogens that are in your bloodstream. So those are the top three reasons right there that you would want to get IV ozone. Uh, if you're someone who is a high performance person or someone who's trying to compete um, in an amateur way in sports, or if you're someone who suffers from chronic fatigue, uh, chronic viral infections. IV ozone is a very therapeutic way and it's a very easy and safe way to go about and adding to your health. This is Dr. Scott Nall from TheVillageOsteopath.com where we help restore your health and optimize your life. If you need any more information about our practice, please visit our website at www.villageosteopath.com. You can also shoot us an email at info at villageosteopath.com. Once again, if you haven't already done so, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. That way, when new content comes out, you get a notification. Thank you and have a great day.